You know, every city has those things that give it a sense of culture and community. Well, here in Ann Arbor, it's the Michigan Theater. It's where performing arts, music, and movies meet the masses. Kind of like, well, a culture sandwich. The Michigan Theater has been the creative heart and soul of Ann Arbor for almost a century now. And it's one of those places that if you've got it, you take good care of it. Russ Collins has been the executive director here at the theater for 30 years now, and his continuous efforts have kept this historic American theater alive. So it was originally built in the 1920s, 1928, which is also the same year that the Fox Theater in Detroit opened. There's a lot of similarities between uh, the architectural style there and the architectural style here. And it was a very uh, exciting time for American building and movie palaces in particular, because um, they were built as multimedia kind of places. They had uh, stages, so you could do stage shows. They were obviously set up for cinema as well. And we still do both stage shows and cinema yeah. I was going to say, I saw a concert here, I saw Los Lobos here. Uh -huh. So you have rock concerts, you have stage plays, you have university stage plays, touring uh, Broadway plays, we do. you have film here. You We're have... the home for the local symphony, the Ann Arbor right. Symphony. Yeah, right. absolutely. So it's a multicultural complex that's right in the city, so it's a part of the community. Right. Which is different than going to the mall and going to the movies. This is. It's a richer experience. Well, it's it's a cultural center. You know, cinema is such a rich cultural program. That's what we focus on. That's what the Detroit Institute of Arts film right. program. So, you know, that 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 cultural aspect of cinema is so important to us, and it's really something that we highlight. Now, I understand you have a pipe organ here that is very old and very rare. And it's still, it's like one of the few that is still being used in a the theater? It is, and it's in its original installation, and I would love to show it to you. It looks like the bridge of the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> this is, look at all the buttons and switches. This is set up this way so that the organist could look at the screen and watch the movie and then provide accompaniment. Oh, wow. But oh, the, as the world, oh, oh. That's right. <laughs> Besides musical accompaniment, there were things like this. A bird song or a... Well, car chase. Yeah, exactly. So we could do a car chase with police sirens. <laughs> and even a... <laughs> he ran a red light. Russ's passion and Ann Arbor's dedication to this place have kept it alive for all of us to enjoy. You go to a regular theater, you don't get this kind of atmosphere that you get in here. This is like, I feel more special just being in here. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's true. And, you know, the thing that I think is most special, the architecture is special, um, coming to events here is special, but the fact that the community rallied to save this place right. is very special. And and I, I think that that's a, a reflection of, of this community, a lot of community saved theater so it's not unique to Ann Arbor but uh, they really committed to restoring this place and keeping it actively uh, used right. and and you know the, the thing that I think is a lot of fun if you haven't been to Ann Arbor recently is the fact that the streets are so lively there are people walking on the streets um, you know all times of the day and night there's nice restaurants and bars and shopping and then there's places like this the, the the performing arts and visual right, arts that are, that are a here. part of the community because Absolutely. the community is a part of this place. My hope is that in a hundred years, people are still coming to the Michigan Theater. It's where the arts belong, and luckily, it belongs to all of us right here in Michigan. Under the Radar Michigan is brought to you in part by the Michigan State Housing and Development Authority.